Ah, uh, things were going so well. I'm just so happy my fingers are all okay. Oh God. Good morning, Steep fam. I'm up here in Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'm in search of some vert. In fact, I've been kind of killing it all week. I've already got 11,000 feet of climb. Today is Friday, and uh, my goal is to hit 25K this week. So today I'm going to do 40% of that, which is 10,000 feet of climb. And um, as a dual bonus, I'm checking out the Flagstaff Sky Race course, which is kicking off here in just one month. They're doing a ton of construction up here. Look at this. They got cones and they've got trucks and they're doing all kinds of stuff. I hear like banging up in the forest. So uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I know they're putting in all these new lifts up here at Arizona Snow Bowl. They are digging up the ground. They're doing all kinds of crazy and uh, actually here is a little sign it looks like of what might be closed. Uh, we've had to change our course pretty much every year for the last three years because of all this construction. I think it's freaking awesome because they're actually putting money back into Arizona Snowball, which desperately needed it, but uh, it does make things a little more difficult for our race. So look at this. Um, this is a map. It looks like these, these runs might be closed, but then like all this shit like fell down. So I don't know if that was supposed to be hung up and it's just, this has just been neglected, but um, Anyways, I'm gonna go just probably like up and down pretty much every run possible. Um, yeah, do every run I can and uh, hopefully get some good, good vert in. Uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so I don't know how that's gonna affect things. Uh, just gonna watch out for that lightning because that's gonna be some scary shit, so. Oh, and I almost forgot, I'm trying out some new products today. So first off is, um, Let's see what I got here. Uh, this is from Univet Sports. It's called Run. Run. This is what Hayden Hawks has been using. They're out of India, and uh, they sent me a big package of stuff all the way from India. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try that out. Um, also, Spring Nutrition. This is what like Sage Canada and uh, Sally McRae are sponsored by. I think they're out of. Tennis Nash, I, I don't know where they're from. Uh, Spring Energy, it's rice-based nutrition. They've also got like other fruit and things in here. Um, natural Energy, so this one is uh, peanut butter flavor. They've also got the Sally McRae Covery, so I guess I'll eat this one afterwards. And uh, I got the top secret, Canterbury. <laughs> Stoked to try this one. This is uh, not available for release yet, but uh, named after world famous runner. Sage Canada. The other uh, thing that I got sent to me was uh, run gum. This is the caffeinated gum, guys, that uh, Nick Sim Nick Simmons, I believe this is his company. So uh, probably have a, a little chew up on the mountain. I don't know. You get amped up. And uh, runs also got caffeinated salt pills. Have you ever heard of that? I've never heard of it before. But I don't really eat much salt, so I don't know. All right, guys, I'm gonna suit up and uh, hit it. Okay, here we go. Journey to 10,000 feet today begins now, heading up the ski area, and I don't know quite what to expect. There's so much construction going on. New lifts are going in, and trails are closed, so um, we're just gonna see what happens. 10 feet. Only 9,990 more to go! Hoo, hoo. So that, that lift's been here for a long time. But this one is new, and uh, wow, yeah, it goes all the way up there. It's pretty crazy. Looks like maybe I can go through here. I'm gonna try it, see if I get yelled at. This is uh, not gated off, so let's see what we can do. Okay. For all you skyrunners out there that are coming in to flag next weekend, this is right here is the road that you'll come in on from outside the ski area. As you can see, the ski boundary is right here, and you'll enter this ski slope and uh, take a right turn and go 
straight up that shit. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, vert update. 600 feet of climb. I'm nearing the top of the first lift here. Then I'm gonna go head back down and see what our staging area looks like for where we finish the Flag Sky Race. Hopefully, it looks okay. Cause I don't wanna have to reroute our start line cause it, or finish line cause it's, it's really a great spot. All right, our uh, staging area looks solid. Actually, it looks better than last year. There was like a bunch of lift equipment there and uh, should be good to go. This shit is so steep and loose right here. Totally rolled my ankle. All right, uh, 1,400 feet of climb under the familiar lift line. And feeling like I need a little boost. I'm gonna hit up one of these run gels from Univet Sports. This is the espresso cappuccino with 100 milligrams of caffeine. Let's get lit. It's a nice hit. It's uh, it's quite liquid consistency, so probably more like a power shot than uh, say a goo, but uh, pretty tasty. So I'm just zigzagging my way up and down the slopes, trying to get as much vert as I can. I'm uh, right around 2,500 feet so far, so quarter of the way done. This is the volcano ski run. We used this last year at Flag Sky Race. Uh, some of the other trails that were closed last year are open, so my things might change up a bit. Uh, I'm really just taking it pretty easy, but I can kind of feel the altitude. I've been away from the high country for a few weeks now, so feeling it a little bit. That is a brand new ski lift, the one that I saw at the bottom. So it takes riders up here to 10,800. Whereas the higher lift goes to 11.5. Pretty nice addition. Guess I'm gonna have to come and ski and snowboard here this winter. Right up here, 11,500, top of the uh, top of the climb here, and uh, they're saying there's lightning in the area, so I'm gonna dip back down and stay low. But. Uh, yeah, all the runs so far have been open that I've been checking out. It's a, it's a good sign. I'm over here on Casino Lift, or Lift Line, something like that. It's Casino Run, 3,600 feet of climb. This is so steep. And uh, it's looking dark and gloomy up there. Not good. Uh, trying another new gel right now. This is the Spring Energy Hill Aid with caffeine. It's got mango and rice and banana and honey and stuff. Uh, and mint. That's weird. So, uh, gonna hit this real quick and then, uh, keep going up. Okay, giving the spring energy a try here. I mean, it kind of tastes like, a little bit like baby food. Um, if you've had that cliff, like, real food, uh, I forget what it's called. But uh, they have like a sweet potato and stuff. Hey, just roll over 5,000 feet of climb, so halfway done for the day. Feeling pretty tired. I think I'm a little worn from the heavy vert in the last week and a half. It's uh, solid, man. I've been hitting it, hitting it hard. So right now I'm heading up towards uh, Humphreys Peak, and. Uh, I might top out at 12,000. I'm probably not gonna go for the summit. There's just too many clouds in the air. But I might dip down the backside and uh, check out the inner basin. I've never been in there. It's like the inner part of the San Francisco Peaks volcano that blew its top like however many tens of thousands of years ago. Uh, onward. All right, hitting this saddle here at 11,700. 900 feet below the summit of Humphreys. I can't freaking breathe. Damn. Uh, it's kind of hazy. Here's a little sign. Yeah. And uh, Humphreys is that away. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna go towards Agassiz and drop down to Inner Basin. Something new, something different. Keep it, uh, keep it exciting and 
keep the motivation up because 10,000 feet of climb in a day is a little mind numbing. I'm at 5,700 feet of climb now. If you guys saw my snow and flagstaff video, that was this saddle right here. And uh, this was all covered. I mean, it's freaking September, so it's all gone. And uh, here we go, dropping into the inner basin. And now almost just shy of 6,000 feet of climb. Right around 12,000 feet. I just took a nasty digger. Oh, no dislocated joints or fingers. Here's the scene. This dirt, knees. The knees took a brunt of it. Also gonna have some scraped up elbows. Oh, that was not fun guys. The watch is still going. Oh, it's gonna be painful, I know it. Oh, <laughs> this happens so rarely, but it's so painful. Dang, man. Look at how much dirt is under my watch. I can barely get it off. Oh man, I slammed it and slid so far. <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> the bleeding is really starting to happen now. All right, let's see if I can stand. Ah. Okay, I'm uh, moving. Gonna have some, some gravel in the cuts. This is all like volcanic shit. It's just a reminder that we are not invincible. Uh, getting closer to the Locket Meadow here in the Inner Basin. Look at this falls in the air, guys. Woo! I think I found the first yellow leaves in Arizona. Whew, smashed it. Okay, so I've dropped down 2,000 feet since that summit just about. So I was hoping to do that, get around 10,000 feet. That way when I climb back up, I'll be at 8,000 feet to climb. And I'll just have two left to do back on the ski slopes. So keeping things pretty fresh, I didn't want to do like five up and downs on the slopes because that's just mentally crazy. Injury update. I kind of scraped off the arms with a head wrap I had in my pack. There's that one. Here is that. And then the knee situation. Pretty ripe. Seems like an appropriate spot to turn around. 9,900 feet, this little building here. I think I'm in Lockett Meadow. It looks like this says City of Flagstaff Well. Okay. So some sort of water, water supply for the city, I guess. You can hear the water rushing through this pipe right there. All right, almost 6,800 feet of climb. I almost tripped again. I think I'm feeling pretty lethargic. You know what time it is? Run gum. The performance gum. Caffeinated energy. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. This is the fruit flavor. 100 milligrams of caffeine, 40 milligrams of taurine for each piece and there's two in here so I think I'll do one at a time actually I might just do both max they say suggested use chew one piece for moderate energy choose two pieces for maximum energy I'm doing two I'm going for it so this is what they look like okay cheers boys and gals Tastes kind of funky. It's taking a little bit to ball up, but holy shit. I'm feeling like a fucking massive dose of shit right now hitting my system. Holy crap, dude. Oh my God. Pretty sure this is doping, guys. Oh my God. Hell yeah. Whoo! 
Yes! Mm. All right, I'm gonna check back in once it takes full effect. Man, so much for this rainstorm. It's freaking sunny and nice. Knock on wood. Uh, run gum update. It's definitely not a super chewy gum, but I've gotten a nice boost and I'm already back up on the, whatever trail this is, Doyle or Agassiz Trail, who knows. Anyway, chugging along here, getting this thing done. We're at 11,000 feet, another thousand to the saddle. And uh, I'm at 7,300 feet of climb. So I'll, I'll be over 8,000 when I hit that. It's happening quick, dude. Dang Flagstaff, you putting on a show today? Look at this sh Okay, status update. Oh, just charging up this almost 70, over 7,800 feet of climb. We're just killing it today, guys. We're getting this done. We are actually doing this and it feels so good. We've got such a good rhythm going right now. Day after day, just, I've got vert goals and this is 40% of my week in one day and it feels really good. I'm just totally chilled, taking it easy. The, uh, the fall hasn't taken too much out of me. I just don't want to fall again. And uh, definitely gonna be starving after this run, just freaking famished. So we're gonna rock some food after this. All right, just cracked 8,000 feet and I'm getting a little misting of rain right here. It's not terribly heavy, but uh, I also can't see over the other side of this mountain. I've probably got about 300 vertical feet to the saddle and then I'm gonna drop over. So we'll definitely probably only have about 1,700 feet of climb left after this bit. Just took another spring energy gel. And uh, spirits are boosting again. It's feeling a little out of it. All right, we're getting, getting a good bit of rain here, a little bit of hail. Decided to put the light shell on. Might put the heavy shell on. It's just a nice misting. Not much wind, but uh, yeah. Definitely a little bit, a little bit more hail here going on. Woo! Well, as you can see, we got some heavier stuff coming down now. It's bouncing off the trail. Not as bad as hard rock yet anyway, but uh, decided to double layer, layer it up here. Uh, still got about 150 vertical feet to the pass before I drop over the edge. Freaking cool, guys. It's like living life here. Getting hailed on. And just like that, the hail's gone, the sun is shining. Uh oh. And then a cloud came. This is the place, guys. Arizona's got it all, baby. We got cactus. We got sand. We got pine trees. What else do we got? Fucking hot temperatures. Hail. Ugh. Woo wee! All right, I'm at 8,300 feet of climb. So if I do the math, subtract it, carry it over, about under 1,700 to go. I'm gonna dip back down to Snowball and uh, get this thing finished off. What a great day. Amazing out. Unbelievable conditions. All right guys, it's looking pretty dark here. I just hit 8,500 feet of climb. I'm at 11.9. I think I'm gonna turn here and head back and pick up the vert lower down. I just don't wanna get struck by something. So, goodbye trail. We didn't make the top, but that's okay. You can see this cool ski area down here. That's where I'm heading back down to right now. What a wild place, huh? Look at all this hail.
Damn, we're getting dumped on. That's what I'm talking about, guys. When I'm talking about living the steep life. I had 10K of vert to do today. You just freaking suck it up. Enjoy the process. Whatever happens, it's all good. It just makes it better. Like, this is a pretty crazy storm. Just everything is flooded. Getting pelted with hail. But I'm just freaking loving it, dude. Absolutely loving it. The trail's starting to flow at this point. All right, I gotta get my other jacket back on. This is crazy, crazy. All right, bundled up, ready for more. I've still got 1,500 feet of climb to do. We gotta drop down first to get back up. I'm currently near, I don't know, I think Rustler up there or something. But um, there was already been two big thunder cracks. One went on for like 20 seconds or 30 seconds. So uh, good thing I stopped and turned around. I could just sense it wasn't the right thing to do. Um, the water's flowing guys real, real well. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to drop down lower and then make my way back up. If it keeps on, uh, spouting thunder and lightning, I probably won't go back up to 11.5. Maybe I'll go all the way to the very base and then come up to 10.5. Yeah. It's happening. It's popping off. To give you guys an idea of how much rain just fell, I'm at 10,300 feet, and check out, this river is flowing pretty well. It was dry the first time I came through here like three hours ago. So I continue to hear thunder and lightning. I'd really like to go back up on the trail just around the corner. Um, that'll get me pretty close to my 1500 feet but if it gets any worse I might have to just bail and go lower go down to like 9,000 feet all right forget it. I'm gonna go up here if it gets crazy I'll just turn back around but uh, I'm at 10,200 the top is uh, near 11.6 so I'll get me about close to my 1400 which is what I need so uh, here goes nothing 9,200 feet of climb. It's freaking epic behind me. So many storms popping off. I'm not the only crazy f***er out here though. Look at this guy. It's looking pretty dark up there. I don't know. Hopefully I can just bag it real quick and get down. I think I've got like 600 vertical feet to the, the top of the of the summit here. Uh, all right, just about at the top. Look at this fog pushing through up there. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, I'm uh, I'm gonna be a couple hundred feet short. So somewhere along the way down, I'll have to pop back up for a couple hundred feet. Uh, <laughs> this has been fun, but I wouldn't be happy to be done. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a dream come true! Holy shit! Literally. Arizona's highest toilet! Oh! Yes! Oh my god! It's so good! Oh. My life is complete. I don't have to go though. That's so sad. I'll just sit here. Oh, take it in. Okay. Now let's get the f off this mountain. Not a bad view, Arizona's highest toilet.